influence in spiritual work because the aim of a real spiritual discipline is to transcend the ego. Mm -hmm. The ego is aware of that and it's observing you. So it's going to find a way to channel that into uh, a socially be socially acceptable behavior that will essentially lead back to keeping you in the same place, meaning keeping you an ego. So kind of a, developing a spiritual persona? Developing a spiritual persona or doing something but not really doing the internal work mm. involved in it. So I, I and the, let me just ask this question. Um, so would it be that I think maybe, I mean, this is just coming to my mind, so <laughs> feel free to disagree with me, but isn't forgiveness sort of a sublimation of a spiritual, like I, I'm angry at you, but I'm going to be, I'm going to forgive you, and it's almost like a way to deal with that anger. Like it's a way for me to say I'm angry at you, you wronged me, but in a very light, spiritual, loving way. It's and almost you're making passive other, aggressive, pa isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Like I uh, always, I, that's why I, I don't, you know, think forgiveness is really transformational. Be, I mean, it may be a good first step, but it's not really freeing you mm. because you're really just still saying the other person did you wrong, and you're just still hanging on to. I forgive you. Like, I'm the bigger person. You hurt me, but I'm going to forgive you. And so the ego can do that. And you might not think that you're doing it. Like, you might think, this is the most spiritual thing, and I'm letting it go. But the ego's kind of like, ooh, she's still hooked in. She's still um, making that dual uh, assumption that they're, they did me wrong, and I'm right. Yeah. Would well, that be it? Or Yeah, something like that. Because mm -hmm. you see that real spiritual disciplines require... Uh, dedication, focus, sacrifice, mm. discipline. And the ego is going to resist that. Mm. Why? Because, the remember, the primary objective is to transcend the ego. Mm. So the ego wants to keep you safe. Its, its primary function is to keep you safe and in your comfort zone. So it's going to try to find a way to lead you back to ego functions. Mm. So, for example, people, you always talk about people that dig shallow holes and they're looking for a spiritual solution. But when things start getting uncomfortable, they're like, yeah. ah, I don't really like Buddhism anymore. I think I'm going to try uh, yoga or going to do this, this practice or maybe I'm going to do the law of attraction and I'm just going to do something else because when it's ready to hit uh, something serious, it's almost uncomfortable and I don't want to do it anymore. That's right. And and this is where it goes back to that lesson that Trungpa Rinpoche was saying, that anybody that undergoes a spiritual practice is going to have to face these things. And so this isn't about the practice itself or the teachings itself. It's that the ego, per, the, it's the person's ego is hijacking That's that right. system. That's right. And so you do see not not just those people out there. You see all of us. Yeah. I've anyone totally, yeah. anyone that is foolish enough <laughs> or courageous enough to undergo a spiritual discipline will have to face these challenges of working with the ego. Because and, everyone has an ego and everyone has these defense mechanisms in place. Before I met you, my very first coach, I was into all this different stuff like energy work. And, you know, I was doing hypnotherapy at the time and um, doing, um, you know, meditations and retreats and stuff. And uh, when she was teaching me the, the non-dual idea, and she, I said, oh, and, and we were having this conversation. And she said, oh, yeah, they don't teach you. They only teach you the good news and that popular self-help. They don't teach you like this stuff you really need to face <laughs> to change. And it really is that uh, because the ego, we're all have egos. And so the ego find a way to infiltrate even the most beautiful practices to for its own gain and to mislead you into thinking you're really making progress. And that's why I think a lot of times we do think we've done a lot of work, but we feel like we haven't really gone <laughs> far because the ego's just rearranging the furniture. It's just making you kind of go through the motions, but then hitting that defense, but not going through it, not getting to the other yeah. side of it. 